Welcome back to Worldwide Chocolates Flight Club. We are in March 2023 and spring is quickly approaching. Daylight savings is right behind us and it might be the last time we're going through that, thankfully. But before we get to spring, there's a one day in between of importance that we're basing our theme around that, of course, is St. Patrick's Day. Everyone knows and loves St. Patrick's Day for the Irish pride and green theme and thus, you know, got this Celtics jersey on, being born in Boston and a last name Delaney. I got quite a bit of Irish in me and looking forward to covering this month's package. So without further ado, let's jump into this month's Flight Club package. So we can't really have a good St. Patrick's Day theme without, of course, including some sort of Irish chocolate. So to kick things off this month, we'll be traveling to Dublin, Ireland, which is right up in here. And we'll be tasting Butler's 32% milk chocolate with honeycomb crisp. We have covered Butler's in the past, so I don't need to reiterate too many of those details, although they have been producing chocolate since 1932 in Dublin, Ireland at their factory. And Butler's also has quite a large chocolate cafe in Dublin. Honeycomb on its own is actually known to have some nutritional benefit to it, but when mixed with a milk chocolate as is this, your taste buds will truly be in harmony. The honeycomb pieces are spread throughout the entire bar so just about each piece that you break off will have a sufficient serving of honeycomb on its own. And if you haven't tried it before, you will soon fall in love with this flavor combination. Also in this segment, I'm trying to work in plenty of Irish puns, so hopefully you'll be doubling over in laughter. Something we haven't shown or displayed quite yet is some hands-on look at Butler's Chocolate. So we pulled together some good first-hand accounts of the employees at Butler's, what it's like for them to work there, as well as some shots of their chocolate cafe. So let's check that out. My name is Michelle McBride. My name is Redder. My name is Saif. My name's Graham McDowell. And I've been working here for 20 years. In Butler's 11 years, three years. 16 years. I came into Butler's for a three month job in corporate sales and that turned into 23 years. I've always really liked coffee so it was an easy choice for me in terms of Butler's is one of the premium brands and I wanted to get one of the best possible experiences. I was a customer in one of the cafes and I really felt like good vibe behind the counter so that was my inspiration. So I applied for this job and I dropped like many CVs, 10 or more, and I've got a call from HR manager saying like, oh, you really want to get this job? <laughs> One of the great things working for Butler's is it's a family business. It's a family run and own business. The benefit of a family run business is that there's real people and real connections and people really care about one another. One of my favorite things about working with a family run business is the fact that it's always an open door and people are always treated the same. My passion would be chocolate, how to taste chocolate and how to tell the difference between premium uh, and non-premium chocolate. There would be a few hundred different chocolates and new ones being made all the time. I just think we genuinely really have it right. In this company it's actually so easy to learn things and, and then get loads of opportunities because management is very supportive. Butlers are really supportive in terms of like moving up and developing your skills. Um, so they support you in terms of barista competitions. So for like latte art, they have the big Irish latte competition and then they can send you on to Europe as well. It is just not a regular nine to five sitting in front of a computer. And I really genuinely mean that. I love my job now as much as I did the first day. If I could describe Butlers in one word, it would probably be elegant. It's amazing. Quality. Friends. Fantastic. Great content and it's also great to see that this family owned business is still doing so and it has been doing so for over 90 years. They'll be hitting their 100 year mark in 2032 and based on how quickly time's going, it'll be here before we know it. And that just about wraps up our Butler's Chocolate and we'll be moving on to our next tasting. What do you call a fake Irish stone? 
a sham rock and we are on to our next tasting. We will be tasting Chrome Moss and their 65% dark chocolate with banana and cardamom brulee. We are keeping things green in this bar, specifically with the packaging, of course, and Chrome Moss does produce some of the finest finished tempered chocolate that I can say I've personally tasted. We have covered Chrome Moss in the past. They're out of Petoskey, Michigan, which is right up in here. This chocolate is a mixed origin using Zorzal, Dominican Republic, as well as Camino Verde, Ecuador, cocoa, and these two cocoa bean origins together work in true harmony. The banana is caramelized and seared in a pan-like format, and that really elevates the sweetness of banana, and then Cardamom is mixed in for that perfection note that really brings this bar together. Cardamom on its own has a warm fragrance. It's almost like cinnamon and nutmeg, but it's almost like a mixture between eucalyptus, mint, and pepper. Um, that infused on the caramelized banana, all in the tempered, perfected chocolate is a match made in heaven. The packaging is also quite clean and it's a bit clover of us to keep it green and true to the theme. All Chrome Moss is traceable, direct trade, and high quality ingredients. This bar is no exception. And you know, you might not typically think of a banana infusion going well with the chocolate, but this blend is a true testament to that quality. And that just about covers our Crone Moss 65% dark chocolate, and we'll be moving on to our next tasting. What is a leprechaun's favorite dog breed? A golden retriever. And we are on to tasting French Broad Chocolate's 68% single origin Nicaragua dark chocolate bar. This is it. <laughs> The cocoa from this bar is coming from the Matagalpa region in Nicaragua. You can see we have that right around here. And it is a co-op that was founded in 2012 that farms primarily the Criollo and Trinitario genotypes of cocoa. These are fine flavor cacaos and they are fermented and dried with perfection. This is also paying a premium to farmers in the region, really putting a focus on the sustainability factor. This single origin blend in particular has won French Broad recognition at the Northwest Chocolate Festival in which they had received a Good Foods Award. The chocolate itself is a bit earthy and you'll find flavor notes of almost like a black coffee as well as licorice. In this next clip, we'll take a look at French Broad's Chocolate Factory, which is in Asheville, North Carolina, and you'll be able to see the process when, you know, starting from beginning to end when it comes to receiving the beans to finishing the tempered chocolate. So without further ado, let's take a look. Our, this is our cacao. Um, we got an importation from Peru, from uh, Piura, which is the northern province of Peru. Um, we buy from Sepi Cafe. We bring them over here to, uh, to sort it out. Um, so right now I have a, a sack of cacao from the Moroccan province. Um, and what I'll do is a few scoops at a time, uh, lay it out on this, on this homemade screen. And this allows us to get rid of any uh, foreign materials, like fibers from the jute bags or uh, sticks, stones, uh, broken, broken pieces of beans. So I'll, I'll, look, I'll look through these beans, and I just want to make sure that I've just got the plumpest beans. They're all intact. They have their skins on, and they're not flat. This is an example of a bean that's flat and has nothing nothing to give me. And I'll just go through handful by handful and just make sure that what's going into our cacao or into our chocolate is just the highest quality cacao. Once I get a bucket full, it's about 10 kilos, 
uh, that happens to be the amount that we can fit into an oven at a time. This is a throwback to, to the type of refinement that was done in the early days of industrial chocolate making um, called the melangeur. And the melangeur is basically, uh, it's, a, it's a set of stone wheels placed against a stone base. And so as the wheels turn, the cacao gets uh, pulverized and any other inclusions you put in at this point, the, the sugar, the milk powder, what have you, um, it gets ground against the wheels, friction heats it up. Uh, here we see a batch running right now. And once the chocolate is fully refined to our liking, uh, we'll pour it out into blocks. Uh, this is an example uh, of a, you know, a brick, seven to ten pound brick of chocolate, um, and it'll sit there until we're ready to, we're ready to uh, melt it down and uh, and temper it and mold it into into bars. This piece of equipment here is a temper depositor. Um, it's got a batch of our malted milk chocolate in it right now. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a very well received chocolate. And so what this allows us to do is to fill our, our molds, our custom molds, uh, with, a, with a drizzle of chocolate at a known um, at a known dosage. And then once the bars are once the bars are poured out, uh, you can see what they look like there. As you can see, pretty great footage, and they are quite hands-on when it comes to sorting, winnowing, roasting, crafting, tempering. Every step in the chocolate making process, they have nailed down to a science. They're an absolutely phenomenal company to be working with and happy that we can include such a fine single origin blend in our St. Patrick's Day themed package. But that just about wraps up our French broad chocolate this month, so we'll be moving on to our next tasting. Staying within the US, we'll be traveling from Asheville, North Carolina to Burlington, Vermont to visit a familiar face in chocolate, Lake Champlain Chocolates. This is their 57% dark chocolate bar with peanut butter filling. Chocolate and peanut butter is a true spectacular combination and Lake Champlain hits the nail on the head when it comes to blending those two flavors together. This organic bar has peanut butter packed pieces of dark chocolate. I mean, could you really ask for more when it comes to total satisfaction? Perhaps, but this again is quite a testament to that classic combination. This chocolate is quite balanced in flavor and the chocolatiers at Lake Champlain Chocolates, they know what they're doing when it comes to chocolate and peanut butter. We also have some new footage from Lake Champlain Chocolates that gives you kind of a you know, first-hand look at their production line, some of their packaging processes, and the day-to-day -day life at their facility. Now, because they're a chocolatier, not a chocolate maker, you won't see any cocoa beans at their facility because they're working with finished chocolate, but they're using such to create fine and unique blends. So let's take a peek at Lake Champlain Chocolates and see what they're all about. We love chocolate. Whether we're exploring new flavor combinations or perfecting classics, we want every taste to be a treat from first sight to your very last bite. Come behind the scenes with us and discover what makes a piece of almond butter crunch so decadent or a cherry cordial hand dipped in dark chocolate so pleasurable. For us, it's not just a simple craving, it's a passion and you can taste that passion in every bite. We're a multi-generational family business, just like the generations of Vermont family farmers who provide us with fresh butter and cream, maple syrup and honey, and just like the generations of cacao farmers in places like the Dominican Republic and Guatemala, with whom we have direct partnerships. From the first truffle in 1983 to the present day, these relationships inspire us to take a craftsman approach to chocolate, creativity, patience, and mastery. Here in our factory, you'll see handcrafted techniques combined with specialized production machinery that helps us create all those bars, truffles, novelties, and caramels that make your mouth water. We start every day by filling each melting tank with 2,000 pounds of fair trade certified chocolate. The chocolate is heated, cooled, and then reheated to precise temperatures while in constant motion. 
This tempers the chocolate, giving it a clean snap and lustrous shine, and ensures an explosion of flavor in every bite. Tempered chocolate is then poured into a variety of shaped molds that travel through a cooling tunnel where the chocolate sets up. At the perfect moment, the chocolate pops onto a conveyor belt and is sent to our high-speed wrapping machines so they don't lose a second of freshness. What about the good stuff inside? Our skilled chocolatiers make fillings from scratch in the fire mixers, copper kettles that are prized for maintaining even heat distribution, which is essential for cooking small batch caramels and toffees. Sugars are slow cooked to a golden mahogany with fresh Vermont cream added at just the right moment. These confections are then covered in rich milk or dark chocolate to make some of our award-winning products like sea salt caramels, almond butter crunch, and five-star bars. And then there's our famous truffles. They begin with homemade ganache, a magical blend of heavy cream and butter and chocolate. The ganache heads over to the enrober or chocolate waterfall, where they're drenched top to bottom by a cascade of warm chocolate. Each flavor is then hand decorated with its own signature design, a perfect balance of taste and beauty. Of course, we're also pros at helping the two biggest chocolate delivery people of all time, the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. Speaking of bunnies, Santas, and snowmen, these chocolates require the magnetic tumbler, an innovative machine that gently spins the molds in two directions, allowing the chocolate to cover every bit of surface while leaving the center hollow. And if being in cahoots with the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus isn't enough to make you love us, you should also know that Lake Champlain Chocolates is a certified B Corporation. That means we believe in improving the Lake Champlain Chocolates experience for everyone, from the cacao farmers and our customers to every hardworking person and supplier along the way. Because we don't just make the world's best chocolates, we're helping make the world a better place too. Great content that we just saw there, and you can see they're using high quality ingredients for their entire line. They're not just producing chocolate bars, but also truffles, pieces, confections, just about all sorts of chocolate types that you could imagine. So we've just about wrapped up our Lake Champlain dark chocolate bar with peanut butter filling. But before we call it Game Clover, we gotta go through our in-flight treats. Our first in-flight treat is a new and phenomenal confection out of Belgium, right up in here. And this is the Cote d'Or Milk Chocolate Bar with Caramelized Almonds. Now this bar is quite substantial in weight and size and for good reason. The Caramelized Almonds in addition to the milk chocolate, make a, a great match. And there's just a pinch of salt that's added on just to give, you know, a subtle but savory flavor profile to this decadent treat. And moving on to our last in-flight treat, which is no Bellarney, we have Michel Fuzel's 73% Los Encones Dominican Republic chocolate Napolitans, or should I say chocolate squares. The Dominican Republic is known for being one of the largest organic producers of cocoa in the world, and this blend is also organic, in case you were wondering. The cocoa in this chocolate used is coming from the Los Encones plantation, which has actually been managed by the Rizek family since 1903. As I've mentioned time and time again, Michel Cluzel also has their tasting experience, which I suggest to check out. I will link that in the description below, and it will help you engage all five of your senses into tasting chocolate, specifically the Los Encones Dominican Republic chocolate. And that just about wraps up our March 2023 Flight Club package. I wish I had a Guinness right now, and maybe I'll go get one, honestly, because we're about wrapping things up for today. Keeping the trivia train going, um, this month's question is, which jersey am I wearing right now? Number 17 on the Celtics. I will admit it may or may not be a current player on the team, but if you can guess that right, just leave a comment below and you will earn yourself some free chocolate in next month's package. And in case you're wondering why I'm wearing this hat, it's 
It's because my hair is kind of a bundle of mess and I did not have time to do it up all nice and fancy. I apologize I could not find a good green hat to wear for this segment, but I will make a note of that to purchase for next March. But that just about wraps up our March 2023 Flight Club package. I thank you all again for staying subscribed and watching our Flight Club segments. We have a lot of fun and we have some good exclusive new chocolates coming for you next month. So stay subscribed, feel free to reach out if you have any questions or want to discuss the club. Always available and I love talking chocolate. But until then, we'll see you next time. Eat, sleep, breathe, chocolate. Cheers.